The M2 is finished. We started this M2 build with a vision to make an absolute track weapon. And that is exactly what we've done. German Auto Works, where in just five weeks, we took a stock M2 to this beast of a race car. We are German Auto Works, and we're back on UK soil after spending two excellent months in Arizona building the ultimate M2 race car. Right, here we are in our garage. So <laughs> this is Wonderboy. Out here popping, popping gas. We got the roof off. Featured here, a, uh, a lamp post for a prop shaft. <laughs> We've got a guy coming down from Colorado. No. Can we get our socks to match in the morning? No. She's in, and she's looking good. She's in. She's looking good. So aggressive. Yeah. Amazing. Carbon roof. We go to the track. We're in. Vegas, baby. Vegas. It's gonna be sweet. So we got the dashing. Uh, really happy with the fitment. Welcome back to German Auto Works, where we tastefully ruined BMW M2. Pumping, pump a gas. <laughs> Before we move on to the final part of this build, I just want to say a massive thank you to you, the viewers. Seeing the reactions and comments from our build has made me feel amazing and really encouraged us to carry on and actually make more content for you guys to watch in 2023. Now, we won't be able to make this series or do our racing without our sponsors. So I want to say a massive thank you to Bicycle House and Arizona Drywall, who are our sponsors from the USA they made the last season doable for us. We actually had a big breakdown in our business, our previous business, uh, and without the help of these sponsors coming in and helping us, we wouldn't have gone on to win the championship. So thank you, and I can't wait to build some more. The M2 is finished. Five weeks later from when we started, she's done. And we're out here at Apex, in what can only be described as one of the most beautiful settings I've been in at a racetrack, bar Anglesey. This car is absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy with it. Um, it's been a really difficult time compact event, but we've done it. And just look at it.
Here's the M2. Now we're going to walk you through some of the key features of our beautiful car from the interior. All right, so here we are. The biggest main thing that you see, I guess, will be the steering wheel. This is out of the M2 CS Racing, straight from BMW Motorsports, as we've mentioned earlier on in this build. You can see our AIM MXG 1.2 Strada in there, a little bit dusty from the Arizona desert. You can also see here the M235 IR door cards. We went for these because we didn't like the plastic ones of the newer M2 CS. This car is a Frankenstein car of all the best bits that BMW Motorsport have made over the years, and we've put them together in one car. So we've got here the center console, which I'm really happy with. We've got our start button down here, relocated from this area. Now that helps when you're strapped in, much easier to touch this area of the car. We've got our fire extinguisher button here and we have our isolator button here. This isolator button kills the car for when you're not using it and for emergency reasons on track. We've then got our Sparco SP425 fire extinguisher controller. We didn't like the way that the original controller sat in a plastic box, so what we did is we embedded it under our carbon sensor console, then we drilled the holes out for the LEDs and we had a new sticker made up in Sunset Orange to go with the rest of the interior of the car. One of the few touches that we did that I find really sets this car apart. The other key feature of this car, if you stay right there, you'll see that this is all painted lovely. The roll cage done by Sean Gosling in the UK, sent out in kit form that we then assembled out here in Arizona. Now, if you just stay there, you'll see that this beautiful door card fits this cage perfectly. Ooh. Oh yes, oh yes. Round to the boot area, following on from our clean way of doing things, I like to keep the wiring to a minimal, so we've done the full wiring limb strip. I then installed the fire extinguisher in a neat and tidy place. Also thought about weight distribution in that area, and safety being right in the core of the car. It's not gonna be hit if it was down in the sides. It's not gonna be hit by any car and then explode or be damaged. Here we see the M2 CS Racing splitter. We also have the brake intakes in the bumper to give it that real aggressive look. This, although they're just small and plastic, when you actually look at the car from this point of view, it really sets the car apart from any other M2. It looks so mean. If you look at the likes of Danny Harrod in the UK, he done the same sort of thing. He actually bonded his ones in. So maybe something for the future, but for now, this looks fantastic. Here's our lovely aero catches. We put them in just as they do in the race car, and they're just as functional. If you're strapped in and you want someone to have a look in your engine bay, it's just as easy as this. Click, 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 she's open. Then you see that our engine bay is completely stock. That's because our philosophy is to make the car lightweight and reliable. Don't mess with big power upgrades. Although this does have a stage one tune, it's good enough as it is being so light. And that's our philosophy, reliability, and fun on track. The thing you will notice is our fire extinguisher system plumbed in a lap around the engine bay. On the most important areas being the turbochargers and the electrical area here, which is where the ECU sits along with some of the cooling parts on the car. We have four nozzles in the engine bay along with three nozzles inside the car for maximum protection. For our wheels, brakes and tyre setup, we've got AP Pro 5000Rs, which are the best. We've also got Forge Line alloys, which are super lightweight, and some Hoosiers. Now, we don't get these in the UK, I don't think. You do? We get these in the UK, but they're not road legal. Out here, doesn't seem to matter, because these things are on the car all the time. And this here, that's your tread. Mm. Yes, that's your tread right there. Anyway, they're absolutely fantastic, on road and on track. We've also got the Olin's TTX suspension, which we dialed in today. We found that the car was a little bit, you know, a bit soft out on track. So we put it up in the air, gave it a quick tune up on the suspension, and now it is fantastic. We're running the same sort of times that GT4 cars run around here in, well, what is basically a GT4, but you can drive to the track. That's the big thing about this build. We didn't want to build a car that you have to put on a trailer. This thing works as it would on the road and works as it would on the track if it was a GT4 car. This is my best build yet.
was what you wanted to do, really. He liked it. The Wonder Boy. Approved. <laughs> so we've been for the first run in the M2. Uh, really happy with it. Out there with the E92, Joel was sending it. Kel was uh, having fun, definitely. Uh, we found that the car's a little bit too soft at the moment, so we're going to take it over, make some suspension adjustments, take it out, shave a few seconds off that time. Alright, so we're just going to take the car out now. We've got Tom behind the camera in the passenger seat. Uh, this will give everybody a bit of an experience of what it's like to drive this car and I'm telling you now I've been out in it and it's amazing. I love it. Steering wheel, the vision, everything. I absolutely love the whole thing. So uh, let's see what we got. I don't know if you can hear me either but yeah, hope so. <laughs> Hopefully. Got the E92 in front of us Cal and uh, his son Hudson. It's a great way to send off the project. Thank you. 
how tight that corner is on the camera. Is to say is I'm proud of the boys I'm proud of the team I'm proud of everything that we've done um, I think we built a fantastic car I just can't explain how nice that feels on track is absolutely fantastic uh, the grip from that Drexler tied in with the grip from the TTX it just makes for a fantastic car I know I keep saying fantastic but it was um, all the hard work is you know mounted up to today and yeah we've been a bit rushed it's, it's been a it's been a tight schedule um, but we've done it and yeah just proud of it it's it's, it's great and we started this m2 build with a vision to make an absolute track weapon and that is exactly what we've done well that's the build done and that's the end of our youtube series i really hope you thoroughly enjoyed it and i hope to make more in the future i want to say a big thank you to a few key people along the way. I want to thank Rongans, which is Tom O'Donovan Ross of Photography, and Tom himself, who's behind the camera. I want to thank Joel, my apprentice, for coming along and bearing with me. I want to thank Kel for giving us this absolutely fantastic opportunity. I want to thank Sean Gosling for helping us with the cage when we really needed help. 2 a.m. in the morning, he was there for us. I want to thank my brother, Ryan, who has been on the car, helping us with the coding, no end. It's been amazing to have all of these people come together and enjoy this build. I wanna thank KG Classics for helping us paint the cage. Uh, they did a fantastic job. And I wanna thank all the people that we've met along the journey that have come down today to see the car. What an amazing experience it's been. Thank you. I'm excited to announce that we are gonna be building something else for you in 23. And there might be a little hint behind you. Not that though, not that car. It'll be better than that. <laughs> Until next time, I should think of a tagline. This is Chad. It's off on it. He's a Chad. <laughs> 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 no, it's recording, mate. <laughs> Peace out, YouTube. Our video viewers are not yet subscribers, so please, if you like this content, like and subscribe. Catch you next time.